in continuation with the series of questions which are asked lately and according to the new pattern of questions I have taken up a topic from pediatrics today how to arrive at a diagnosis of a clinical condition and what are the various important clinical conditions which you face in your examination and what are the types of questions lately asked and to be expected in your future NEET PG and FMG examinations. Now one important thing is that you have to go through the question with a lot of concentration. Now over here having a look at this question if you can see it and have a look at the board you can see that the question says that there is a young girl who reports to a pediatrician with fever. She has erythema of the lips. She was asked to do coronary angiography and the figure is shown here. She has dyskinesia of the hands and feet and was sent to the dermatologist for evaluation of the same. What is the most likely diagnosis? Now options are SLE, systemic lupus erythromatosis, syphilis, three vessel block and Kawasaki disease. Now considering these options, first of all SLE. SLE is a connective tissue disorder and it presents with so many features. So there are so many features which are seen in SLE and over here I cannot come across a feature which is more important as a conspicuous feature of systemic lupus erythromatosis. Syphilis caused by trypanoma pallidum and syphilis can present usually in the form of congenital syphilis, primary syphilis, secondary or tertiary and there is a whole set of uh, symptomatology which is quite different seen in case of syphilis, cardiovascular syphilis or neurosyphilis. Then there is a three vessel block written as option C and in here the image shows I cannot guess in the image there is any blockage of the coronary vessel which is seen but if we have a look at the photograph or the image you can see that over here I have labeled them and there are certain dilatations of the coronary arteries and this is what I can most likely assume are coronary aneurysms. So a young girl with fever, with erythema of the lips and coronary angiography most likely showing coronary aneurysms. So what is this clinical condition? If you are a good student and have studied your pediatrics, your medicine very nicely, you will be able to arrive at a diagnosis very immediately. And now considering the case. So this is basically the answer is Kawasaki's disease. And as far as your knowledge of vasculitis is concerned, you know there are multiple types of vasculitis and Kawasaki's disease is given multiple names. The lymph node disease, the mucocutaneous lymph node syndrome or the infantile polyarteritis. So basically a vasculitis and multiple names you have to remember the each name because sometimes questions are asked like this as well. So what is this Kawasaki's disease? Now have a look why I have introduced these images over here because sometimes you can be given this clinical scenario along with the question line I have given. The first image shows a boy and the conjectiva and you can see red conjectiva over here and this is given the name typically as conjectivitis or more specifically as conjunctival injection. So you can see at the corner at the lateral canthus conjunctival injection and on the right side there is a figure so this is this area over here this is the area which shows the conjunctival injection and in here this is done and you can see it is red and it is almost resembling strawberry and this is the classical strawberry tongue and in here this is the third figure which may be given what is very prominent over here is that there are these lips which are very red erythematous lips over here so you can see the upper lip you can see the lower lip over here and they are erythema so what we have come across in these figures is the erythema of the lips and you can see the strawberry tongue and the conjunctival injection and these are the criteria by which you diagnose Kawasaki's disease. Now these additional figures, what does this figure show over here? And this figure shows, I, I guess you can well demarcate the edematous hands over here. And in here you can see there is the peeling of the skin. 
of the palms and the soles, the palms on the top and the soles below. So, so many figures. So, this is rich in uh, figures and this is rich in symptomatology. Disseccation of the skin of the hands, palms or soles, the in acute phases, the edema of the hands or other body parts, the cracked, uh, the edema of the lips, and sometimes the cracked lips as well, the strawberry tongue and the conjunctival injection. These are very important, and these form the main features of this vasculitic syndrome, which is common in the young. So, what is Kawasaki's disease? Very important question, frequently asked, repeated. So, inflammation. Of the vessels vasculized and what vessels middle sized arteries that's important and Kawasaki's disease is not one single entity it affects multiple body parts and it affects the skin as you have seen it affects the mucosae it affects the lymph nodes and there can be cervical lymphadenopathy so that can be given as a clinical scenario in a different uh, subset of conditions and blood vessels as I already mentioned and most severest effects are on the heart where I have told you that the coronaries get dilated coronary aneurysmal dilatations very important and you have seen that in the figure over there you saw the coronary aneurysms and they are a feature classical feature of Kawasaki's disease and they, sometimes there can be red maculopapular rashes on the feet and around the knees and in the axillary and the inguinal skin creases very important so the symptomatology may differ but these are the fundamental factors of Kawasaki's disease and this commission already mentioned and shown in the figure now over here it is also sometimes given the name as uh, a fever which is chronic so this is important vasculites uh, of medium-sized arteries with fever so that's important now sometimes they, they are in the habit of asking the criteria and these criteria get upgraded you have to remember some of the important features erythema of the lips or the cracking of the lips the rash the swelling of erythema are the hands of the feet red eyes conjunctival injection and small left nodes in the neck region especially cervical lymphadenopathy cervical lap happens to be an important feature all those features may not be present and you can be fortunate if the patient presents with most of the features so that's important so it's very easy for a well-trained pediatrician or a resident to pick up these things so these are some of the fundamental things points which are asked so this is very important about the kawasaki's disease now how do we treat kawasaki's disease? again sometimes asked the mainstay is that sometimes it is self-resolving in case there are not these uh, features like coronary aneurysms and all those things but coronary aneurysms might in indicate a severe form of kawasaki's disease and intravenous immunoglobulins they are very important now there is one important thing which is mentioned here aspirin normally aspirin is not given to children aspirin is not given to children and kawasaki's disease is just one clinical condition in which aspirin is given to children because aspirin intake in children causes ray syndrome and ray syndrome is can be very catastrophic sometimes Kawasaki's disease is one clinical condition in which aspirin is given in children. No other clinical condition exists in which a pediatric age group is given aspirin. So this is very important. A combination of immunoglobulins and aspirin is the fundamental treatment modality of treatment of patients with Kawasaki's disease. So remember Rice syndrome uh, association uh, associated in children with intake of aspirin. So these are some of the important features which you have to remember in Kawasaki's disease. So just to wind it up, you have to remember that Kawasaki's disease is a vasculitis, medium sized arteries are involved, young people are involved and it does not affect skin only it affects the skin it affects the mucosa it affects the internal organs like the heart causing characteristic coronary aneurysmal dilatations and then the treatment pattern and dermatological manifestations like the discrimination of the skin of the hands and palms I repeat it again, erythema of the hands and in acute phases edema of the limbs and sometimes erythema around the uh, lips and as well as conjunctival injection and these are the facts which are to remember to be remembered in case of Kawasaki's disease this is a question as I mentioned frequently asked and I hope that these points along with the images I have shown will help you to arrive at a diagnosis and you will remember this lifetime thanks a lot